Retired Lieutenant Detective for the Netley, New Jersey Police Department. You've been along for, for the, uh, the breaking news tonight, and you said a couple of issues have bubbled up that you really wanted to follow through on. And, and one of them was this level of frustration as a police officer. Talk to me about that. Well, Harris, the police officers, as we know, they're out on the streets every day. No job is routine. In this case, you had two killers. They were arrested. They went through the system, sentenced to life. You, you hope to God that the rest of the system works. There was an epic failure. This did not work. They got out. And you know what would have really been sad? If another police officer, even a civilian, an innocent person, would have been killed. So that's where our frustrations as cops is. We, we rely on the judges and the courts and the system to at least fulfill their responsibility. We did ours with guns pointed at us. Yeah. They need to do theirs. All right, so another thing that you and I were talking about, and it kind of lit up social media as we discussed it, uh, who was running that prison facility because we haven't heard. And we call it, I guess it's old school to call him a warden. I don't know. In some states I've lived in, that's what they're called. Uh, at this particular Clinton Correctional Facility in Denimora, it's prison superintendent, and his name is Stephen Rancet. Reset, I should say. Um, we didn't get a pronouncer with it, but the way it's spelled, that's what I'm going to think. Uh, a degree from Plattsburgh State University, graduated from the New York State Ranger School in 1976, was a son of another prison superintendent. Um, so he's kind of got this in his family line. Uh, but lots of questions that I would be asking as a journalist about well, what he knew and, and the chain of command and the leadership of that prison. And that isn't to speak directly to the investigation of how they broke out, but more this wider scope of leadership and accountability, which is the, the word we've been using. And how about what you just shared with me, frustration? You're a professional law enforcement officer. Your whole life you worked hard, and all of a sudden, and we don't know if this is the case, but I'm, I'm bringing something up that is very important to police officers. All of a sudden, the person in charge is a political appointee. He is there because he knew someone in politics. Like I said, I'm going to qualify this. I'm not saying this is the case, but for the most part, that's what happens in law enforcement. Unqualified people get in positions of power and management when, it, when they're dealing with law enforcement, and that is something that's got to stop. You need professional law enforcement practitioners running our prisons and running our police departments. All right, and again... That's your opinion. We yeah. don't know that that to be the we case don't. in any regard in any of this. Um, but from your experience, and how many years were you? 38 years. 30, that's a long time. That's a lot of experience. And a, and a former vet, a yeah. veteran. Yeah, U.S. Navy commander. Veteran. Thank you. Thank you for being along with us. Yeah. More details on the capture.